It's time for the breakaway presented by Frontier Communications. We're both born in Florida. I'm not going to be too hard <laughs> on you, Jeff. I have a soft spot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. So let's talk about life here for you and your family. You moved here with your puppy, mm -hmm. Lila, your beautiful wife, Kendall, and your new baby, Remy. Yeah. What has it been like for everyone? Uh, initially, it was a bit of a whirlwind. You know, um, we had Remy, and then three and a half weeks later, we were back in Florida for the off season, and then all of a sudden, we were packing up our house and moving to Portland. But it's been great. You know, now that we're settled in a little bit, we really love it. Uh, as I said, you know, the weather's changing, so my wife likes it a little bit more. But yes. my wife loves it, and it's been a great family environment, so we're really enjoying it. Was Lila okay when the new baby arrived? I know when my parents <laughs> had me, I'm the first the dog had to go because the dog got too <laughs> jealous of the baby. How has that dynamic been? Uh, it's been great. You know, we have to stop Lila from licking her face all the time, oh. but it's been, Lila's, Lila's my ride or die. You know, <laughs> she's been making all the moves with us and, Aww. you know, we just pack her up and ship her out to us and she's awesome. So it's been, it's been fun. Where did the name Lila come from? And then I'll ask you, Remy, <laughs> you know, dogs are a little bit more important than babies. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, Lila, I named her after a character in Friday Night Lights, uh, okay. Lila Garrity. At the time that we got her, we were super into that show. It's a great show, but yeah, it just, it just seemed right at the time. <laughs> and Remy? Remy was my wife. Uh, she came up with a list of names and I kind of narrowed it down a little bit more and Remy was what stuck, but We've heard nothing but good things. I don't think anybody tells you that your baby name isn't good, but right. no, I know, love it's a fun, it's a fun, unique name. So mention Friday Night Lights football, but mm. college football. You and your wife both went to schools in Florida, and at one point the teams played. Yeah. How did that go? Who won? Well, the time that we won is the only time I talk about. <laughs> that's but, uh, that's Yeah, fine. USF beat them my sophomore year, but last year Kendall had the last laughs and FSU won, but I think uh, next time we'll probably get them. But you did tell me she switched and finished graduating from USF, but yeah. still claims to be the FSU. Yeah. Well, she so. moved for me, so I can't, really give her, uh, <laughs> I can't really give her too hard of a time on it. She definitely claims FSU, and she's definitely welcome to. <laughs> So the baby, Remy, what's it been like being a father? Ha has it changed you at all? Anything different? Yeah, I mean, changed me, I think, a lot. Uh, you know, everyone says it, and you don't really know it until you actually have one of your own. But it's been an amazing experience, and, you know, all your priorities kind of change, and you find yourself rushing home after practice instead of hanging out in the locker room and kind of messing around with the guys. But it's been a great experience, and I've loved every minute of it. I saw an adorable picture of Kendall and Remy meeting you down on the field at Providence Park. Do you enjoy having that experience? I know not every club does that, where mm -hmm. the kids are able to come down after the game. Yeah, it's incredible. You know, part of the reason that we really talked about having kids when we did was that was just something that, it, that we wanted to share as a family because we think it's an incredible memory that, you know, 10 years from now when Remy is mad at me and thinking I'm too hard on her that I could just show her that and say, hey, like, I was pretty cool at one time yeah, in my life. My so, so it's an awesome experience. It's awesome that the Timbers let you do that. And it's, you know, it's memories you're going to remember for the rest of your life. All right, Jeff, I, he did say the hot seat. So I am going to ask you a couple just questions, things that I found on, on your Instagram page that I'm <laughs> dying to ask you about. So first, there was a note that apparently, I guess you had written to yourself <laughs> in 2002. Uh, Take a look at that. It says, what did you write yourself? Dear Jeff. I think it says, Dear Jeff. I think I, it, it's pretty much a note to myself telling me that I will never not wear sunscreen again because <laughs> there was one time when I was in middle school that I got sun poisoning and oh. my mom told me that I had to wear sunscreen all the time and I made a note to myself to always remember. I don't think I stick to it, but oh. we happened to go to the beach that day and my mom busted out that <laughs> note when she asked if I put it on. So it was a pretty... <laughs> Pretty funny motherly thing to still have that note in her, in her wallet. Pretty lucky thing to be able to <laughs> yeah. pull out and show you. Yeah. Okay, next I wanted to ask you, there's a picture of you in a pregnancy suit. Mm -hmm. uh, how did Kendall get you into that? Oh man, she didn't have to try. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, it was making its rounds around the classroom and, you know, you wanted to, I don't know, see you how she was see feeling. how she was yeah, feeling. see how she was feeling and... You know, I think uh, me wearing it for five minutes was enough to realize that, all right, yeah, this is pretty hard. So, you know, maybe an extra foot rub or going to get her a little bit of extra treat or something like that was the smallest thing that I could do for her. Oh, I don't know if no, many guys would do that, but that's oh, there you incredible. Go. See, Kendall? Lucky Lucky, lucky girl, Kendall. <laughs> all right, and then also there's a picture of you and Mark Cuban. Mm -hmm. uh, the picture, unfortunately, your eyes are shut. Yeah. When did you meet him? So last year I had the chance to kind of do behind the scenes of a jazz game as a media member and 
And it was a fun experience. And then I saw him walking in, and I had the guy that was showing me around take a picture, and he only took one. And I was smiling so big, but my <laughs> eyes were closed, and that's what that's what ended up. So if I ever get the opportunity again, I'll definitely have my eyes wide open for that one. So how, you got to shadow media behind the scenes, what essentially we all do at the yeah. games. What did you think of that, being on the other side? Uh, hard work. Yeah, a lot of hard work, a lot of hours putting in, and you know, it was funny just being on the other side here, and uh, the guy that I was touring with asked the coach kind of a tough, oh, tough, hard yeah. question that he was getting, getting some stuff for, so it was <laughs> funny to hear on the other side and just be a part of the other side of it, so it was fun. Something maybe future down the road you would be interested in? Yeah, I mean, you never know. Uh, that's cross that bridge when I get there, but it's always good to kind of wet your feet a little bit and a little bit of everything, so it was a fun experience. I also saw you on a cooking show doing that, too. So Yeah, no future in that, but <laughs> but, but it was, that was a fun experience as well. So Well, Jeff, thank you so much for coming on Timbers in 30 this week. We look forward to seeing you in San Jose. Awesome. Thanks for having me.